Welcome to One Stop Co-op Shop. I'm doing that bad every time I do this, don't I? <laughs> it's going downhill quick. It is. Hi, everybody. This is Steve. Here with Kim. Hi. We're here to play some Street Masters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Due to your request. I know. I've been wanting to play it because I was working on a project. Mm -hmm. And here we are. And people like this game. Yes. Yeah, I love This game is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. I will always say yes if you ask me to play Street Masters. So. Okay. But yes, we're here. We're going to play through a scenario with missions this time, because I know, I don't think we've shown missions. It's been a while at least, so we'll talk to that. Um, we will explain the setup. We won't explain how to play the game of Street Masters in a generic sense, but if you're joining us live, you have questions, you're always welcome to ask, and we'll stop and answer any questions you have. Yes. <laughs> hey, Mariga. <laughs> welcome. Hi, welcome, welcome. Some time to watch. Well, I'm glad yeah. you're here. Also, we do have a giveaway, which we'll detail at the end of this video. So stick around for that. Yep. So, okay, let's dive into it. So, you decided, let's talk about fires. So you decided you want to play Riz. Riz? I say Rise. Rise? R-H-Y-S. Rise. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure. It's all right. <laughs> so, what what's your character all about? Knives. I throw knives. You do throw knives. So I can attack with two dice, move two spaces. Then if I don't, if I'm unengaged, I can play a copy of Rise Peace from my hand or my discard pile. Um, and then the ultimate is just more of that and be pretty better. So we'll get there later. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you're all about finding your knives and attacking with that. Mm -hmm. So I am playing Axel. So if you are aware of the designers for this game, these images might look a little similar. Because they are modeled after the... They're modeled designers. after their brothers. Yeah, their brothers. <laughs> and actually, I, every time I see this, though, it looks like one of our old college friends. A little bit. Um, a little bit. A little so. bit. But yeah, so I was playing as Axel. So he is... Kim's very offensive. I'm very defensive this one. So um, attack with two dice, then choose a fighter to gain one random defense token. So my character's all about gaining defense tokens and using them in different ways. That is what I'll be doing. And I'll flip the other side just to see what it does. Um, attack with three dice, targeting each enemy engaged with me. Each fighter gains two random defense tokens, then flip this card. So attack everyone, gain defense. Pretty awesome. straightforward. Okay, so what is the mission? Like, what are we doing? <clears throat> so we are going up and running wild against the proxy. So let's look at the proxy. He's probably the quickest, and then we'll go through the stage last. So here's the proxy. So he's going to have 60 hit points. Um, we are playing upgraded cards, just FYI. I always like that rule. Um, so, <clears throat> interact. So this is an action you can do. Discard one power to resolve the itinerary effect of the top card in the enemy discard pile. Then shuffle that card into the enemy deck. So all of those cards are going to have different itinerary cards. We can choose to activate them or not. Okay. Just I don't know mind. what they do, but sure, we'll see. We'll, we'll see them once they come up. Okay. And when he, he attacks each fire within two spaces... Each fire that was not attacked this way must move one of their defense tokens to this card and shuffle the topmost card in the enemy discard pile back to the enemy deck. So mm -hmm. he is going to flood his deck full of enemies and try and get them come out, basically. And he's going to be stealing all the defense tokens, which would be sad face for my character, I think. Well, at least you're dishing them out. I'm dishing Otherwise, them out. Otherwise, we'd be really screwed. Hopefully, that's going to help out. Yeah. Okay, so that is the proxy here we're going up against. Let's talk about running wild. What are we doing in this scenario? So this one... Uh, let's look at this card real quick. So here's Running Wild. Uh, the search is on. The fighters try to locate the idols that the servants of the Oni need to create the final key. An orb of mysterious power that certainly won't be used for anything good. Searching requires time, but it's essential if the fighters hope to delay the impending summoning. So we're trying to find the idols before they do. That's what we're up against. Okay, so here is the stage card itself. Um, each fighter is going to take a copy of Hunt for the Wilds. Hunt, no, sorry, Hunt for the Wilds. Hunt for the Idols. And we're going to find the final key. So I've already done that. Let's just show what Hunt for the Idols does. So here's that card. It says here, while you're carrying an objective, your attacks gain plus one die. Red die. So if you cannot harness the power of the Idols for yourself. Okay. So you can exhaust this. Um, if you're in a search space on the board, if we look at the board real quickly, there's all these little magnifying glasses everywhere. You may want to scoot to the left a bit. You're half-facing yourself a lot. Sure. <laughs> half-face. 
There we go. I know. That's Mike's thing. You can't take that. I can't take that. <laughs> so his, his thing's going from the bottom. Horizontal. Horizontal, yeah, right? Vertical. So, um, yeah. So it can exhaust the search. And then basic, and then we'll, our, what we're trying to do is put power on this. Once you have three power on this, we can go to a space with a search and find the idle. It's pretty, now, how that works exactly is here. Here's the stage card with all the details. So those are search spaces, I already mentioned that. And the important one right here is this last spot. When a fighter searches, roll and resolve dice as if making an attack. Ignore guard results. For each damage dealt, the fighter places one power on a copy of Hunt for the Idols in their fighter plate area. Mm -hmm. So that's how you get power on it. Once you get three power on it, then you can get the idol. Okay. Now, each time an objective is found, we get one randomly. Pretty, straight, pretty straightforward. Uh, when enemy moves into a space containing an inactive objective, the enemy picks up that objective. So, um, yeah, when you find it, you just, you will, we're going to get a random one on the map. Then we have, then there's a race to go pick it up. Enemies we're, headed, we're trying to get as well. If enemy carrying objective suffers damage, they have to discard one defense token. If unable to, they drop that objective. So it's out of the game. We have to find another one. That's how that is going to work. And now the final key tells us the last bit of information we need to know. If three objective objectives are ever carried by enemies, we lose. So that's what we're avoiding. If there are ever five power tokens on this card, the a boss finds an objective just straight up. So he's also searching for them. And activate for each inactive objective, choose a different enemy, they move towards that objective. Um, if there's no inactive objectives, roll three enemy dice for each different result, place one power on this card. So, yeah. Okay. We gotta watch it. It's gonna be a race. Race to get the idols. I just wanna murder the proxy guy. <laughs> He's got 60 health. He That's try. a lot. He does have a lot. Okay. Uh, last thing is we'll mention how missions work. So missions, uh, after you set up the stage deck, you will have this extra deck of cards, which are over here in the corner. Whoa, whoa, whoa there's my finger. Where am I? Right there. There you go, perfect. Okay. All right, actually, there you go. Thank well, you. That would have been so much nicer. That was so much nicer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, so uh, you're going to have a mission active at all times. If you complete it, you get a new one. It's as simple as that. Every time you complete it, you will get a mission token. You can have up to five of them. And then you can spend them for cool effects. Like you spend one to get plus one dice to an attack. Pretty straightforward. Two, choose one fighter, draw a card, or play a tactic during that turn. Three, during your turn, each fighter may draw loot. Four, a fighter may perform one additional action during their turn. Or five, each fighter may perform an action during your turn. So if I spend, I can hoard them, or I can just like do onesies and one-offs. Yep, whatever okay. you want. All right, exactly. makes sense. Pretty straightforward. The only other rule for missions is during the threat phase, you can choose to discard your mission and get a new one. Okay. In case you don't like it. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so we have the boss on the board. We need to put our figures on the board. Um, um, we'll just start in the corner because it's close to me. Can okay. you feel like it? Don't leave me. Well, you're over there. I'm actually <laughs> tempted to start here. What? I'm literally at the corner of the board. Yes, because I can run and get this loot. <laughs> okay. Yes. We, you've got the loot bug now. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, go ahead and draw a mission card for each of us, and we can take a peek at what they are. So Kim's mission is going to be task at hand. You can't always punch your way out of every situation. Sometimes you have to focus on the issues, on the less obvious threats. During your draw phase, you may complete this mission if you did not attack during your turn. That's going to be easy for you to do, first turn. Yeah. We got that. My mission is going to be investigate. There has to be more information here. Something you're overlooking. It's not safe to uh, root around during the fight. But a quick scan can reveal many secrets. During your turn, exhaust a tactic card you control while you're in a crate space to complete this mission. That one may be a little trickier, but we can try it. We can try to do it. Okay. Should right. I start over there, or should I start closer? I should oh, probably you should draw start, hands. I should probably start closer. Um, you can start there. I don't think it matters a whole lot where we are, but we should meet up so we can help each other. Though I don't think I have any range effects right now. Yeah, mine can be any range. Okay. How many cards am I drawing? Four cards. And you can all again. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. All right. 
Got my picked. I got some awesome tactic upgrades, so already it should be starting off pretty good. All right. It's been a while since I played these characters. I've played them a long time ago. Well, I'm glad you suggested them. Mm -hmm. Generally, a good rule of thumb when playing this game is to go for the tactics. So if you don't see them, it's a good idea just to dump cards until you get what you need. And then pick. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look at loot crates. That's right. Well, hold on. I got better. Oh, you're going to spoil it right now? Well, if they watched our stream on Monday, which I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. You got to look, guys. <laughs> um, these are the giveaways. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. If you watch the other stream, you should have, yeah. you would have saw, saw them. But yes, those crates are awesome. They are Kim's work. She, she did all the work of those. I have... Sorry, I'm using a dice tray today because I have to. No, it's not going to make a difference. I have to. It's not going to make a difference. <laughs> so. Okay, I I am going to mulligan. Okay. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm just going to deal with it. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, right. I'm going to do... Okay, so are, we, are you starting to play right now? Isn't that what we're doing? Yeah. We don't start our... We have to do a threat phase first. Just ah, oh, let's not play with the enemy at all. <laughs> so. No, I'm just gonna run around and get stuff. Yeah, fair enough. Here's your card. You get a nice clean sweep. So he's got activate this enemy attacks each fighter engage with it. Each fighter attack this way must exhaust one card they control. Then advance three spaces toward the nearest fighter. So he's trying to exhaust the cards. Ooh, that's gonna be kind of no. Oh, that's interesting with the hunt in there. A tenery gain five random defense tokens, then deal with a proxy one dark damage for each defense token you have of a single type. That's a pretty nice itinerary ability. That's yours, and then my card is going to be also a clean sweep, but this time it's red. I got a red one. It looks like they have three punchies on them. Okay. Instead of attack, oh, I have punch attack. I, oh, you have a punch attack as your main one? Cool. Yeah. Okay, same. Okay. Um, now can see. I go? Yep. Wait, get this, the this is here. And we got the counters on the screen. If you guys, I'll leave that up for now so you guys can see our health if I totals. I didn't attack. I you did not attack. Face. That's correct. During the draw phase. That's correct. Is this draw phase already? Does this Is this done? No, draw phase. Just for everyone's <laughs> knowledge, this comes asking. Here's the turns. First time we use threat phase, we draw a bad guy card. Oh, it's then the we take our turns. End of the whole thing. Okay. React phase, any enemies do their activations, and then we draw phase. And then we'll move on to enemy, enemy turn, which the bad guy goes, and then stage does all its things. Rinse and repeat. Okay. Okay. I just want to stay away from that bad guy for this one turn. I have an obvious play I want to do. And that is, I want to play this Uber card. Look at this beast. Defensive train. That's why I was excited when I saw this. Let's be my card step. And it says here, at the start of your turn, gain two defense tokens of your choice. Woohoo! Exhaust. Each fighter may gain two defense tokens of their choice from an enemy engaged with them. Okay. So I might want to wait until you get close to an enemy and we can exhaust. Yeah, I'm going to try to keep away from him at this point. What? I want to complete my, my task at hand, Steve. Okay. My mission... Not going to run through just six minutes? No, I'm just running okay. away. <laughs> okay, I'm going to play this um, Prowl Tactic card. Okay. She hers. Uh, exhaust to move two spaces. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Run like the wind. Or resolve the action on the copy of Reese's Rise? Piece? Rise? I'm saying Rise. because Rise? I, My brother's name is Ryan, and I'll call him Rye. Okay. Even though I wouldn't spell it with the H. Whatever. It works in my brain. <laughs> Fair enough. Doesn't okay. have to make sense. Gives you some more movement. That's pretty okay. nice. Um, and then I'm going to really honestly not do an action step. I'm gonna I'm gonna go move one, two, three. Okay. Um, that's on a search. Right. Oh, you want to search right now? I do, because that's exhausting this, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'll just exhaust this card. Roll two red dice. Two red dice. That's a double hit. I can't zoom into what you're saying. Well, see there a double go. hit. Okay. At least it was contained. <laughs> for once. I know. So I, what markers am I using just to keep track of, of um, that? Yeah, I think it says every time you roll a hit, you put power on hunt for idols. That's oh, correct. Just a power, power yeah. token. Yep. 
Okay, so there's two, so I just need three. Um, I'm also going to exhaust this card. Mm -hmm. And that makes me go two. So I'll just run away from that guy. Okay. Um, that's it, I'm not doing an action. Okay, cool. I am going to... I think I'm going to do something similar to you. I'm going to do my movement step. Let's see. I don't really want to engage that guy yet because he's going to come at me anyway. Yeah. I'm going to head towards you, I think. One, two, three, go north. And then as my action, there's these other actions you can do. I'm going to do one right now. Um, one of the default actions you can do is uh, defend. Gain two random defense tokens. So I'm going to do that right now. Oh, if I didn't use my action thingy, I can do that? Yeah. Oh, I'm doing that because I didn't actually use an action. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Two random defense tokens. All right. Kick and a grab. You do yours. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so let me roll my defense tokens. And I'm going to get a punch and a kick for my defense. So that's going to go down on my player board here. Fill that up. Okay. And that is it. So now we're going to do our reactions. So the enemies are going to these guys. Actually, maybe I should should have, probably should have hunt for the idols though. Well, you didn't. I'm gonna work on that real quick. Are you serious? We just did all that. No, it's easy. I just back up, and then I roll. Oh, so you're not moving your full three? Yeah, I didn't move full three. Okay. It'd be kind of dumb not to do that. So yeah, we're back up from where it was here, and I'll exhaust to see where we get. Oh, look at that! Boom, boom. Let's try again. That's two plus four. Four. Doesn't that explode again? It does, but it doesn't matter because I don't get the the defense tokens. And I only you know, it gets power. Oh wait. Yeah, you keep getting your power. You have four power now. Oh, that's right. One, two, three. That's right. I roll so again. Roll one more. Five, Five power. power. Roll again. This I'm, is impressive. I'm in, I'm in crit that's mode. Six power. Six power. You could get two idols. I can. Well, kind of, kind of. So how it works is if you look at the card, I have to exhaust it. To do it okay well here's but your the nice thing is i have six power in it so i can do it twice pretty yeah, easily here's your six that was impressive nice rolling uh, uh, yep yep <laughs> don't use it all up for tonight <laughs> no, is what i'm I saying <laughs> okay yeah it's my only critical roll all night <laughs> you said it i didn't say it you said it, <laughs> said it. okay all right all right enemies go right yes correct all right so so we look at the clean sweep so, yeah, so my blue guy, no one's engaged. He's going to move through spaces towards the nurse fighter, so that's me. We'll be right there. Okay. And then mine does the same thing. Uh, he advanced three spaces towards me. That's correct. Boop. Okay. Now what I want to do... What is this? What's it? Oh, yeah, it's his punch tokens. Now what I want to do is I want to do my defensive training. Exhaust. Each fighter may gain two defense tokens of their choice from an enemy engaged with them. Hey, Kanji. Welcome. We it's are doing good. really good because I got tons of crits. So. That was impressive. Your crit power is rubbing off on me. Awkward. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. So, hey, okay, so I'm going to do this exhaust ability. Each fighter may gain two defense tokens of their choice from an enemy engaged with them. So you could do this as oh, well. Oh, give me your punches. So we're stealing some punches from those guys. I like that. Thank uh -huh. you. That is it for them. Well, now we do our draw phase. So I'm going to draw a card. Oh, look who completed their mission. All right. Bow, bow, bow. Here you go. No, oh, you can just discard up there. Oh, okay. So you go ahead and grab a mission token, put it on your card. Mission card. Perfect. And you get a new mission. I am now threatened. You let the enemy know how capable you are by putting on a show of your prowess. It exerts some energy, but you think it also may have shaken their confidence. At the end of your move step, while you are engaged with an enemy, any fighter may discard an ability card to let you complete this mission. So all the mission cards in this game, they all have you do something like not attack, not like discard yeah. cards, something negative. So you get a positive effect and you build these positive effects to do. Yes, but this is turn. any player can do it. So I any could player. do it, but you could do it on my behalf. That's correct. That's correct. Interesting. I'm still the dice. You got all the dice. I'm gonna steal some. Kim has all the dice over here. So you're fine. I have four and four. Alright. Cool. Okay. 
So we did that. We drew our cards. Did I draw my card? Yes, I did. I think you did. Yes, I did. Okay, now we move on to the enemy phase. So let's move on up here. And the proxy. Let's look at what he does. He says, activate. Proxy attacks each fighter within two spaces, which there's nobody. Uh, each fighter that was not attacked this way must move one of their defense tokens to this card and shuffle the topmost card enemy card into the enemy deck. We don't have any enemies, in the, so it doesn't matter for the last but part. he gets one of our defense tokens. He does. So I'm going to give him a punch. Give him this one. <clears throat> okay, you ready? Refresh. No. What? We have to use stage. Sorry, I'm just so ready to go. <laughs> I know. My patience doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, that's a true statement. Activate. For each inactive objective, choose a different enemy. They move towards it. Although, if no inactive objectives in play, roll three enemy dice. For each different result, place one power on this card. So here we go. Let's see what they're going to get. We got two different results. So we put... No, you got three different results. Two different results. Punch. Grab, grab. Oh, Punch. I thought that was... Never mind. Yeah. So you get two power on that? Uh, two power on this, yep. So we'll have to do that every turn. Boop, boop. And then we get a stage card. Here we go. The Oni's Curse. This card deals each figure carrying an objective one general damage, which is nothing. So don't have to worry about it. Okay, yeah, good to do. All right, and that is it. Now, here. I'm refreshing. Okay, yes, now I can refresh. Get all the cards back. And enemy spawn? Um, let's see. Yes, that card's. Kim's card, executive. Five health, three attack. Add activate events three spaces towards the nearest fighter and attack. Then if this enemy did not did not attack, it deals the nearest fighter within three spaces one general damage. So it doesn't attack, it's gonna throw a sigh at you apparently. Stinking Electra, stay away from me. <laughs> Defeat one minion in your threat area, gaining each defense token on the enemy and moving all damage on the enemy to the proxy. That is an amazing itinerary. I'll have to keep in mind those effects. And my card is gonna be look at that, the purple one. I'm just copying I'm just copying you. It looks like they have grabs. One, two, three. Okay. She's she's really rocking the Electro vibes. <laughs> she is. Okay. We spawned our enemies. We've got them on the board. And now we can play our turns. So I... Oh! I start my turn. I gain turn. two defense tokens of my choice. Ah. So I'm going to gain one grab and one kick, I think. That's for my defensive training. My card I want to play. So I got the other upgraded. Look at this guy. Keeping the advantage. As long as you have at least one defense token, each of my tasks gain plus one die. Nice. Discard a defense token from each enemy engaged with you to exhaust. I can faint it as well, which I probably won't, because that's an awesome ability. Okay. Hmm. That's what I want to do. I'm going to play Knives Out. This oh, tactic. nice, nice. So at the start of your turn, gain one defense token of your choice for each gear card you control. Okay. That's cool. Now I'm going to do the action on that. Search your deck for a copy of Rise piece and put yep. it into play. Then attack. Two red dice and direct damage. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. I think it's just... I think you have an upgraded one in there. I'm too. looking for it. Yes! So you mean the awesome one. Here's the awesome one. You may only ever control two copies of Rise Piece. Your attacks deal plus two punch damage, just straight up. Uh, action, attack with three red dice, any enemy in play dealing general damage, then discard this card. So you can throw it for three red dice. Otherwise, it gives you two punch damage constantly. I just put that in my this area, right? Yeah, you attacked it. Yep. Yep. Okay, so I'm doing this action on Knives Out. So search your deck for a copy of Rise Piece, which I did. Put it in play, which yep. I did. Yep. Then attack with two die, dealing direct damage. Do you want me to do my uh, defensive training to have you take two defense tokens from the enemy engaged with you? He only has the one, but I know. sure. You know, we forgot to put the three on the executives. By oh, the way. she gets grappled. Yeah. Um, it's only one, but the pr question is, are you going to be engaged with another enemy? Well, you might be engaged with the executive, actually, because you might so rump and attack both of us. So maybe um, I'll wait. 
Yeah, wait. Because the thing is, you're going you're to punch through it, potentially, anyway. It'll, you'll yeah. be able to do more damage. Yeah, I'm ready. Are you sure? Because right now you do plus two punch damage. That's plus right two. Right now I do plus two? Yeah, because your, your knife is in there. Oh, I have my knife. Does that get discarded? Because well, I'm attacking with this. No, 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 no. No, it just gives you plus two punch damage. Okay. Straight up. And then I roll. Yeah, might as well. I could steal that from him. You would rather steal that from him and then... Um... I'm going to run away from the executive. Because okay. I have the loot box. Okay, so I'll exhaust my defensive training. We'll both take... Our defense tokens okay, off. so this okay. is two plus dam or two punch damage damage plus whatever I roll, which is going to be direct. You also, damage. could add plus one to it with your mission token if you wanted. I could, or use wait. I'm gonna hoard those missions. Okay, hoarding missions is always good too. Yes. So that's just two. You stole my crits. plus two. So that's well, that's four. Four, yes. Four hits. He's got six health. Okay. Not quite enough, but I still have a move, so I'm going to do that. One, two, three. Okay. Actually, before you do anything, before you move, undo that. I would like to exhaust my idol okay. and get rid of three of these, so I've got three left. Um, because when I do that... Discard three power from this card to either find an objective or pick up an objective in your space. So I'm going to find an objective. Yeah. So now what we do is we shuffle up those objective tokens and Just we'll draw a blind? Yeah. Because you're in objective space right now. So I want to see... Oh, maybe... Is, oh, maybe you don't want to move, run away. Yeah, maybe if, if we pull the red one. Just, just don't look and grab one. Okay. Grab this one. Oh, Not the right one. Grab the blue one. Which is actually close to you. Okay, so yeah, that's true. Okay, now you can keep going. Sorry, I wanted to make sure we did that first. So it's inactive. Correct. Okay, but now I'm so I move. One, two, three. Pick up the loot. Pepper spray. At any time, I can discard this card. Um, to dis. Let me, let me try that again. <laughs> I can discard this card to discard one card a figure within two spaces of you controls. That's really good when the bad guy gets his uh, upgrades. Like weapons and whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I am also in a search space. I'm going to exhaust this okay. to search for the idols. Okay. That's a double hit. So I have four. Okay. Okay. Um, and then I think I'm going to exhaust Prowl. Yeah. And move two more because I'm scared. Because you're scared. You can do that later too. One, two. No, why wait? Just go. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Rock and roll. Done. So it's my turn now. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think my action. Thinking. I am thinking. Get that idol. Well, I'll attack the guy before I move up there. Okay. I can't get the idol this turn because I need to exhaust this card and I already have it exhausted. So it's, I can't get it yet. You could get it though, too, potentially. Not this turn. Not this turn, yes. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, what I want to do is I'm going to do an action. So I'll do my main action. I'll attack with two red dice. Uh, then I can choose a fighter to gain one random defense token. So I'm going to tag the guy next to me. It's punch damage. Um, I do get plus one because of this. So I get three dice. All punches against the clean sweep. So here we go. Let's roll the bones. There's three with an extra hit. Crit. Man, Steve. And shield. Okay, so oh, you have three hits. And a punch and defense. A punch defense. There you go. There's your punch okay. defense. And three hit on that guy. It's not enough to take him out, but it's something. And then, Kim, I'm going to choose you to get a defense token. Okay, what am I getting? You are getting grapple. Good. Okay. Ready? I have my move. Nope, I'm moving. Right away! And I think... I believe I could just go stand on those. Yeah, objectives. would you block the idol from the bad guys? 
I would, except for the boss. But yes, okay. I would. They they would head towards it, but they wouldn't get it. I don't think. I think you blocking it is good. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. <clears throat> okay. That is it for our turns. Okay, now did is you, uh, bad guys' turns. Did you have an uh, ability card that you would be willing to throw away? Yeah, in a crate space. Oh. At the end of the move step, while engaged with an enemy. Oh, I didn't do that. Yeah, I do have one I could have get rid of, but no, nope, I'll, okay. I'll wait. Okay. Then we do the enemy steps. So first we have, I'll go do my stuff first. So clean sweep, he is going to attack, which he can't. He's fire attacks with uh, the tap and he vents three spaces towards me. So he's gonna round next to me. And then the executive looks like advanced three spaces towards me, attack for three dice. And that's it. Yeah, Excuse that's what me. she's gonna do. She's gonna go right here. Yep, and attack for three. Yeah. So let's see what she does against me. Here we go. Um, one of everything, everything. That actually which works is, for you. Which is good, because I have one of everything. So, um, okay. I'm using your tokens. Thank you. Excellent. So I got my power. I need four power to fully charge. It's not much. Okay. I am also going to exhaust keeping the advantage. We discard the defense token from her. Okay. Okay. Um, clean sweep guy is going to just run three. One, nope, two, up here. three. Okay. She is going to move three and attack. One, two, three. Her attack. Um, she because she can't attack. She does three. She does one general damage to the nearest fighter within three. I am not within three because I not. ran away because I was scared. I was playing it ahead. <laughs> oh, that was good. It was <laughs> far enough away. Okay, so we survived that. And then, hey, Ryan, welcome. Hey, Ryan. Let's see. Let's draw our cards. I'm gonna get a regroup. It's an ability card. Each fighter may either gain two random defense tokens or heal two damage. That's great. I got an attack card. Sweep the leg. <laughs> Sweep the leg, Johnny. It's going to move two spaces and attack. Um, otherwise, I attack and there's some other stuff that happens. Okay. Proxy. Mr. Bad Guy himself. Catch each fighter within two, which is nobody. Then we have to give him a defense token. So I'm going to give him a punch. I don't want to, but I think that's the best option right now. Give him a kick. Okay. Now That's what? it. Now we do the bad guy, the final key. Activate for each inactive objective, which is one. Choose a different enemy that is nearest that objective. That moves three spaces toward the objective. So the nearest one would be the purple person. Okay. In your opinion, did the twins make themselves overpowered? Because I put myself in a game, I'd be the best, obviously. <laughs> I would do the same thing, not gonna lie. Um, I don't I, think so. I haven't played as Rise before. I played Axel way back when. Um, I think they're very good, but I don't think they're super powered. I think, well, I, I will say that with Rise's ability to find a knife, and you can find your awesome knife right away, that's pretty good. That was really good. That's I got it good. out turn one or two, or whatever yeah, that was. Yeah. That was pretty good. So that's pretty. I think he's a little bit stronger when we play with upgrade cards with him for that. But um, I think they just work really well together. You know, a very offensive one versus a very defensive one. Like I'll I'll do some hits here and there, but Cam will really dish up the pain. Oh, so now I have to perform. <laughs> so we'll see. That's a good question. We'll see. Good question. But no, I would totally be overpowered myself. <laughs> So I think the purple person will just move. I don't. She doesn't. She, can't she, move. she can because you can't move into. You're on the space. I'm on the space. Right. You strategically blocked it. Now the boss can move into that space, but enemies cannot. My understanding. So. I feel like that's a loophole. Yeah. So does nothing happen? Or do they get it? I'm gonna check the rules real quick on that one while we're looking at it because that's that's a good question because they have I mean, it's two power on on that card. Um, but I know objective. Here it is. Uh, Thank you. Is that an item? That's a, that might be no. When objective token corresponds to an item card, they, that's fine. It indicates it's on map. Um, Anyone want to guess what I made today? 
via 3D modeling. <laughs> yeah. A knob to a crock pot that got melted. <laughs> so, yeah, my sister calls me. She's like, yo, can you make me a new crock pot knob? And I was like, okay. Never would have thought in a million years I'd be using my CAD background to make crock pot pieces. But here we are. That was, and you did a good job with them too. I know, it's sure. printing now, and I hope that it fits because I measured, I didn't use calipers. I should have used calipers to measure the old piece that was all busted. <laughs> So we'll hope, hopefully it works. Otherwise, I'll just tweak it and reprint and try again. So that was my fun activity of the day. I went to work. It was like there was a good thing that happened at work, but that's about it. Yeah, so enemies may move through spaces containing other enemies, but not fighters. Bosses, however, can move through any space, no matter what figures in the space. All enemies must end their movement in an empty space. Enemies will only end their movement in an entry space if it's only valid space, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah, I don't think they I actually... I think he's just stuck. In the I think methods. he's stuck. Okay. Which is interesting because I feel like it should say, roll the dice, put more power on here. But technically, because there's an inactive objective in play... I think we were just strategically playing the game right. I think so. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play that way. It may be wrong. I mean, because the minute we flip over another one, they're going to be running around anyway. That's true. That's true. Okay. Now, enemy turn. <laughs> yeah. One of the cool things you do, all these miniatures, things you print, but not knobs. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I did, though I, um, because it's just a regular knob. It's like on a crack button. Mm -hmm. You can turn it on, turn it off. But I um, put their last name on it, and it's like tiny. So they're going to look at it and be like, what the heck? And she did not specify how I like was going to finish it. So like, I have a lot of colorful paint. And I think it's going to be in... Uh-oh. Color Rainbow paint. colored? <laughs> it's going to be gross. Like, grossly just bright. I think that's what I'm going to do, because her old one was just black and boring, so. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, no trail unturned. Each fighter may place one power on a copy of Hunt for the Idols in their play fighter play area. But each fighter that does must also place one power on the final key. I'm not uh, going to do, do that. that. I don't I'm, need any more power. Yeah, I'm fine, too. Okay. All right, that's it for that. Let's go ahead and do the reset. So reset all your stuff. I might... I just get rid of the investigate card. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna do it. I should probably find a different one. Okay. Well, if you. <sighs> okay. So if, start of turn. So I'm this. Get... Um, oh, this. start a turn. Gain one defense token of your choice for each gear card I control. So that's one. I want a kick because. Actually, I want a grapple. Okay. All right. Um. Actually, I think we'll. Uh... So, you do have an ability card that you're going to just discard for me? Yes. I, okay. I think so. Let me see. I've got two of them. Because then I'll engage with an enemy and... Um... Yeah, I can discard one of them. For sure. Okay. Do you need me to come help you? Um. No? Question mark? Loads of confidence right there. <laughs> well, I'll go ahead. So, let's go ahead and do the threat phase first. Here we go. Your card is going to be a yellow clean sweep. All the enemies are coming out. My card is going to be a blue executive. <laughs> He's right there. They're all uh, they're swarming the field. Okay. Get the uh, blue executive for me, please. Patience. Okay. Right. So that is our threat stuff. Then we can do our, our turns. Um, I... Yeah, I'm going to do my Hunt for Idols. So I've got three power on that Hunt for Idols. I'm going to exhaust and, dis exhaust and discard three power from this card to find an objective or pick up an objective in your space. So I'm going to exhaust and pick an objective in my space. It is now mine! <laughs> okay. And I believe it's active when I'm carrying it. I would think so. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Let me just double check that real quick. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Time to found shuffle. Where did that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's active. It doesn't. I don't think it matters. Well, you, and you, you just fall. It, you carry it around until yeah. you drop it. Yeah. So I get the blue one, and that's now all my attacks get plus one red dice, and I'm rolling two. Good red for dice. you. I'm gonna need it. Good job, Steve. <laughs> and I helped. You are. You're doing fine. Okay. So okay, I do wonder where I should go. To help you. 
I mean, I could go backtrack and kill the blue sweeper guy. Um, but I'm engaged, so do you want to discard your ability card for me? Oh, you got to do your threat then? do it. So, yeah, I just discarded the ability card? Yep. Okay, I won't be discarded this coordinated uh, uh, defense, offensive. Let's just move and get defense tokens, so. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. My next mission, task at hand. You can't always punch your way out of every situation. Sometimes you focus on the less obvious threats. During your draw phase, you may complete this mission if you did not attack during your turn. That may be difficult now. I'm going to probably do my investigate. Okay, what I would like to do is I just need to take out one of these guys before it comes down to it. Um, are you engaged with someone with defense tokens? Yes, she has a lot. Okay, I'm going to do my... Defensive training, we each gain two defense tokens from someone engaged with us. Perfect. Okay. Then what I would like to do is not need to heal. Did I do the knife out gain the defense for the rise piece? Yes, I you did. did. Okay. You did. Okay, so I'm gonna play my card. So I'm gonna play uh, dropping guard. So you may discard any number of defense tokens to discard an equal number of defense tokens from an en enemy engaged with me, which actually they don't have any defense. But I do get attacked with two red dice. However, this is now four red dice, so ha ha ha. I'm going to attack. Why is it four? You get one for the idol? One because I have defense tokens and one, yeah. Okay. Yep. So I think I'll attack, um, to just take out the clean sweep I'm at it. Yeah, might as well. Here we go. Wait, but you're rolling four dice. I mean, most... You could... I gotta do it eventually. Okay. Unless you have some other, that's something else you can do. You think go for executive instead? I'm halfway tempted, but that's okay. Actually, true, because the clean sweep, he'll just romp next to me. He yeah, doesn't do anything. Yeah, she's gonna... So, yeah, it's true. I'll take out the... the uh, I mean, you gotta hit a crit, though. Or no crits. It's nice to have two guys on it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you didn't have to listen to me. That's too late. So that is four what type of damage is it? Oh, uh, punches. So I'm gonna get four punch defense tokens. That's a good defense roll, though. It is. I have lots of defense tokens. Okay. Should I come finish her off? No, because I still have an action. So I'm gonna use my action to do my regular attack, which I get to roll two dice. This is also punch, and I'll attack her again. Here we go. So two crits. There's your crits. We roll those, so I've got four hits, or uh, six, six hits. hits. She's very dead. Plenty dead. Okay, and then I will get a loot, loot please. Stink bombs. Oh, this is good. You can uh, discard it to have an enemy move three spaces. I choose where they go. Okay. Okay. Um, She's gone. I am going to do my move step to move here onto that crate. Yeah, another. Do you want to move on it, get it, or then move here? Um, I was, no, I'm gonna move on it because I'm gonna do investigate. During your turn, exhaust a tactic control while you're in a crate space to complete this mission. So I've got an extra uh, tactic. I'll just exhaust it and oh, it's completed. You Here's your pepper spray. Ooh, so I got pepper spray too for discarding stuff. Your next mission. I get one mission. Wait and see. Sometimes it's best to play it safe and hang back until the time is right. During your draw phase, you may choose to draw one less card to heal one damage and complete the mission. Nope. Fine, I do. But actually, this one thing I like about the missions is because this card is in the deck, it allows characters that don't normally heal to heal. Okay. So I really... You want, you want to disc... Is that what that... You want me to discard it? Is that what you were saying? No, no, no. I want to hang on to it. Oh, okay. Um, well, I could discard it. Got so much defense. But I do like that, that it gives you the heal option. Actually, I haven't done anything yet on my turn. What am yeah, I I'll do it do? later. Yeah, what are you doing? I have no idea. Um, I took out a guy. I'm <laughs> fine. I will go take out a guy. <laughs> should, I, should I find an idol? Always. Well... I mean, I'm not really near... The problem is if you find one, they're probably going to swarm and get it. But then you can knock it out of their hands, too. I'd have to go play catch-up. You're fast. I am pretty quick. In fact, you can move eight spaces if you really want to do. Because your action, you can sprint with three, movement for another three, and you have to prowl for two. 
So you can get there. You really want to do. I might wait one. The other thing you can do, we do have this executive in the discard pile. She has an itinerary. Defeat one minion in your threat area, gaining each defense tokens on the enemy and moving all damage on the enemy to the proxy. So, so it's I your action. So I could just say, clean sleep, you're dead, but move four damage to the proxy? Yes. Do I have to be engaged with the clean sweep to do it? No. Nope. Because what you're doing is you're doing this interact with the proxy. Discard one power. Oh, yeah, discard a power. You don't have any power. I don't have any power. So you can't do it. You tease. Just kidding. All right, but it's still good to know. So, like, if I wound him, like, right up to the edge, that's an easy way to hit the big guy. Yeah. Okay, good to know. He does have 60 health. I still don't know what I'm doing on my turn. <laughs> um... You don't have any more tactics to play, I'm guessing. I do. Well, the other thing about missions is you can't complete more than one mission a turn if you get lucky or get the right ones. So. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Play that I'm going to play Flanking Step. So at the start of my turn, I can move a space. Uh -huh. I could exhaust this card to, um, to choose an engaged fighter, and that fighter can draw a card or deal general damage to an enemy engaged with it. That's pretty nice. I like that because this guy he's got four. The nice thing about the flanking step, too, I'll show it to everyone real quick, is it doesn't have the star on it. So I didn't mention that, that any cards with stars on them, like this one here, can only have one copy of it in play. You can get all, multiple flanking steps and you get a lot of movement really yeah. super fast. Okay, but I still, I think I want to go murder the clean sweep. <laughs> of course you do. Of course I do. So this is one, two. Um... <coughs> Do I want to stay involved? I could go one more space. No, I'll stay on that yellow sweeper. Really? He's going to hurt me. Yeah. He's going to make you exhaust something, too. Mm. <laughs> I mean, you should probably go to a search spot, or maybe you don't care. Well, because I just moved to, maybe I'll just go three so that guy has to come a little bit closer. He won't hurt me right away. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to, I guess, just regular attack that guy. Okay. Um. So attack with two dice, move two spaces. You attack, then you move two? Yeah. That's and actually, cool. I may re... You could head up to the red spot. Yeah, the executive, she's going to hurt me anyway. I'm just going to have to deal with it. Um, but I haven't played a card yet. Mm -hmm. No, you played your flanking step. You I did. Maybe I don't want to play that one. Why not? Because I could um, exhaust <clears throat> a minion. You could. So she doesn't attack me. You have a lot of defense though too, because you look at your card. You've got. Oh other yeah, she is. Yeah, no, I want. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. Don't overthink okay. it. Don't you're overthink it. Okay. I'm attacking with. Um, I have a heal card for you too. So. I'm going to. Ooh, I like this one. Attack with three any enemy in play. Mm-hmm. Oh, then discard the card. Yep. That's fine. We can find it again. Yep. All right. Your... I'm doing regular attack. Um. Yeah. You get plus two punch. Two and defense. So four. What who are you attacking? My other blue guy. He's dead. Yes, he's dead. Nice job. See, I, I hit somebody. Right, that was my action step. Now technically I can move two spaces. Flip your card step too, you make sure you Yeah. And you get your loot. Hold on. So I can move to, then if unengaged, I can play one copy of Rise Piece from a hand or discard pile, which I don't actually have. But I could still move two spaces. Yep. Which I think I'm going to do. Oh, I got a butterfly knife. Discard this card, dead two <laughs> dice to an attack a uh, figure adjacent to me. That's definitely Kim, though. Just swing the maze. We'll work with alarm later. No big <laughs> That's deal. That's right. No alarm with this one. I'm moving two to here. Okay. Okay. Or I should probably stay closer to the... 
I mean, you can things. build up more power, I'm assuming. Is that what you're doing? I don't know what I'm doing. You can actually find one right now. Because you still have your your hunt for the idols. And it's, it's ready. So you might as well use it. Okay. Either add more power to it or find an objective. One or two. Discard three power from this card to either find an objective or pick up an objective in rich days. I don't have to be... No, we did that wrong the first time. Because I could be in the red spot and find the power there. I don't have to be in the search spot. Correct. So why don't I just move to the red one? I'm That's what gonna... I said. Oh. <laughs> I said that earlier. You're like, oh, oh let's walk over here. Didn't listen to you. <laughs> All right, that's the spot I'm in. Okay. Okay, so then I'm discarding three. Yep. And I get... You have to exhaust that card. I'm exhausting the card. Yep. And I get the red... No, you randomly get one. But I'm in the red spot. Correct. So if you randomly get the red one, you'll be standing on blocking it. Um, let's see. Let me... Each time an objective is found, the players shuffle the outer play objective tokens and randomly choose one. Yep. Okay. You randomly okay. choose this. Just checking. Or we should just have this one. Yellow. Yellow. Okay. There's the camera. Yellow. <laughs> All right, Steve, you have to run and get that. <laughs> uh, I won't get it done. Okay. It's the wrong side of the board. <laughs> <I know. laughs> I okay. think I did everything. Yeah, I think you did too. Okay, now we do bad guy stuff. So my clean sweep is going to run up next to me. One, two. And then my blue one is going to run up three spaces. One, two, three. Doesn't quite get to me. He's going to attack me with one general damage. So I'll block it with this. Don't chip the paint. I put clear coat on <laughs> it. It's totally fine. Yes, and these <laughs> ones are not the ones that are going to give away either. No, they're so. not. Um, I already um, moved my clean sweep, and the executive's going to attack me as well. Guess what? Four power! All right. So I am fully charged. Good for you. So I flip my thing over, and now I can do three damage, targeting each enemy engaged with you. That's going to be great. Huh. I'm fully powered. All right. All right. So now the that was executive... all my people. She is going to move three and then attack. So she's just going to straight up punch me. For three. Hopefully you don't get any... Kickies. Kickies, yeah. yeah. All right, Hold two on. punches <laughs> and a grapple, all blocked. Ow. <laughs> yeah, Durbo's all get out, exactly. Hey, Kim does a good job. I'll give her props. Philosophy, don't have ass life. Just, <laughs> just do it. I sh we had a, we have a bench in our... In our um, oh my gosh. Main we, we have an entryway bench, right? Yeah. It's just a... Sit on a it, fabric. Just... Bench. Put your shoes on or whatever, sit yeah. on it, no big deal. I bought it, and they made it, and it's like, it's five foot long, right? Mm -hmm. But it's like they have one by one wood as the span, mm -hmm. and it's the weakest thing ever, and so naturally our big butt sat on it, <laughs> and over time, it broke. Well, I fixed it. That thing can hold an elephant. <laughs> I'm so very proud of that project. She put so many reinforcements in it. Like, being I, I cut open the fabric yeah. inside, and there's like five cross members in there, and then I just <sighs> stapled the fabric. It was... It's rock solid. Wow. It's awesome. It's great. <laughs> yeah. So. Yes. Super strong. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Ron Swanson. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. Well, half has two things. Well, has one thing. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Well, I blocked her attacks. So now, what? Where are we at? Steve. Uh, did you do your clean sweep too? Yeah. She. He already moved to me. Okay, we're done. Draw cards. Sweet. Ooh, we got a power up regroup, which does the exact same thing as the other one. No, it does both. The regular one says get two random defense tokens or heal two. The upgraded one says get two random defense tokens and heal two. That's great. Okay. Still haven't found my other tactic card, though. I want to find that one. Oh, well. All right, here we go. Proxy. No one's near him. So that is it. Doesn't, he, doesn't he move? Um, let's see if I totally make sure I was right. No, he doesn't move. I'll double check. Let's look at his card real quick. Yeah, it says the, he attacks each fire within two spaces of him. Does not attack. Must move one of the defense tokens to his card. Yeah, I don't think he moves normally. I think he moves from the stage deck 
But right now, the stage deck is choosing the closest enemy to move. And so far, he hasn't been the closest. Which is going to be changed. He is now the closest. Because he is actually three away from yeah. that. So he's going to, he will be moving. But regardless, he's going to have to get a defense token from both of us. You may have. And shuffle the topmost card. An enemy discard pile back to the enemy deck. Okay, yeah. So we have to give him a defense token. And then both these enemies are going to get shuffled into the deck. Both of them are just one. Because each fighter that gives them a defense token. Not engage. So you have a small window to use those itineraries. Is how it works. And also means... Oh, so I can't do the you're wounded now thing? Is wounded now? The wounded transfer thingy because the card went away? Uh-huh. Yep. Well, I'm just going to have to go kick him. <laughs> All right. So he's got more defense from both of us. And then we do the stage. So... Each inactive objective, choose a different enemy that is nearest to it, and that enemy moves three spaces towards it. So he has it now. Yep. One. I can't really see. Two, three. Yep. And he picked it up. Now we lose if they're carrying three objectives. Right row. Right row is right. Okay, here we go. See what we get for our stage card. Blessings from beyond. For each objective a fighter carries, they may either heal one damage or deal one direct damage to any enemy in play. For each objective the boss carries, a fighter must suffer one direct damage. Ooh. Okay. So I... Let's see. Why don't we damage him? Because it's the only boss? one. Yeah. That's what I'm leaning towards. It is one direct damage yeah. to any enemy in play. So yeah, I can deal to the boss man. That makes sense. And then... So he's going to have 59. Yep. Now the question is, what happens now? Let me put damage on I get, I get that there. Sometimes we forget. Okay. Um, each time a figure carrying an objective token suffers any amount of damage, they must discard one defense token. So he has to discard a defense token. Yes. Take that. Okay. Same thing happens to us, though. I'm going to take one direct damage. So my health is going to drop down to 17, and but I have to discard a defense token. Discard, or did you get the power? I think just discard. Um, yeah, you just discard it. Okay. Yeah. But since you had one to discard, you don't drop your idol. Correct. Okay. All right. That's actually not a bad. No, that's fine. Bad trait. That's fine. Did you take it? Yeah, you took your damage. I took my damage. Yep. Okay. Okay, so that was it. Now we do start everything up again. So. What about enemies? What about enemies? Enemy spawn. Yes, we are going to do that again. Um, sorry. Okay, let's ready everything up. And start of turn, I'm going to choose to get a kick and probably two kicks at this point. Okay. Start of turn, I gain a defense token of my choice for the gear that I have. I don't have any kicks, I'll take one of those. And then also, I can move one space. Oh, you want to move? I think I'm going to move this way. Okay. Okay. Let's see what card I'm going to get. I'm going to get Mr. Russ Rousseau. Mr. Rousseau. Rousseau. Uh, only three health. That's not bad. Any After fire defeats this enemy, they may resolve the itinerary effect of any other card in play. Activate, gain one, I'm a defense token, and attack each fire. Oh, interesting. So he's going to just build defense and attack from where he is. He's not going to move at all. He shoots. Oh. But look at his itinerary. Attack of four red dice dealing general damage targeting any figure. That's really nice. Okay. Okay, so he's going to be in my play area, and you are going to get... Here we go. Tactic card from Bad Guy. When a fighter would gain a loot card, it is attached to this card instead. Activate. Any fighter may suffer one or more direct damage to gain an equal number of loot cards attached to this card. Then if no loot cards remain, attach this card discard it. Um, each fighter draws a loot card for itinerary. Okay, so that's gonna be so. If he has no loot cards, we could just take the damage. You take one damage and just get rid of it during our turn before it builds up. I would be okay with I that. I think I think that's how it works. I do. do I think he ha wait, maybe has to get a loot card though. Any any fighter may suffer one or more direct damage to gain an equal number of loot cards attached to this card. Then, if no loot cards remain, attach this card discard it. That's a good question. Not sure how that works. 
I think... I think if there's no loot on it, just discards it, right? Well, but it says you have to suffer a damage or move... <laughs> yeah, not sure how that works. I assume I assume how it's supposed to work is it can't get discarded unless there's loot yeah I think it, it has to have one and then it can actually stick correct I think so I think so otherwise that would just be like well let's activate it now you know on our turn well activate on his turn but yes yeah all right so that is that that's in play okay okay I could just get rid of that with the pepper spray you could you could and then two play. I might do that just so we get rid of confusion. Okay, I... I'm going to run down to the guy. This guy. Because he's going to shoot from everywhere. You don't have to. You can throw a knife at him, too, technically. Just saying. I could throw a rise piece at him. Yep. He only has three health. <laughs> yeah. I'll save that in case. Okay. I mean, it's an act. I'll, I'll figure out if I want to do it. One, two, three. Okay. But this loot goes to this guy. Correct. Tear gas. Okay. So it says, at any time you discard this card to deal one dark damage to each enemy within three spaces. That's great. But the only way I can... Get rid of that tactic is when it activates on the enemy's turn. <laughs> right? Sorry, I was trying to see the comments said. I didn't pop those comments up on the screen. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize. Right? So this only triggers on his turn. Correct. Correct. So that tear gas is gone until his turn at least. Correct. Okay. That was my move. Um, I might. I have a question about Prowl. Okay, go ahead. It says, if I exhaust it, resolve the action on a copy of Rise Piece that you control. So yep. I could do this without the action itself, right? Correct. You can exhaust that card to throw, to throw inside the action. I'm exhausting this okay. to throw some knives at this guy. Okay. That is Mr. Russo. Yes. Um, three dice. Okay. My attacks do two plus or plus two punch damage, and these are a couple crits. Whoa! Crit, crit. Crits, crits. Crit queen in action. Another crit. crit. I think he's dead. It's super dead. He only has three health. I got, well, he's very dead, but I did get a punch defense token. <laughs> <laughs> so he is super dead. He only has three health. Um, also, when you defeat him, you re resolve the tenery effect of any other card in play. Yes. Okay, but this loot then also goes on this tactic. That's correct. Sneakers! I want those! <laughs> um, okay, so what other itinerary? <laughs> this is where the nickname came from. It exactly. is! Exactly. I almost said Queen. Streets of Rage. No, wrong game. <laughs> Um, which itinerary card is in play that I can trigger? Anything in front of Any us. Any of these? Yep. So I would do gain, this executive, honestly. Defeat one minion in your threat area, gaining each defense token on that, moving all damage on that enemy to the proxy. Yeah. Could I, but it's on mine, so could I do it on yours? Potentially, and, but the thing is, I can attack both of them on my turn. So I'm leaning towards don't touch mine, because I can most likely take them both out. Okay. Take out yours. Because you will not have any enemies in play. Gaining Potentially. Token. Not. I want to get rid of her. Executive? Yeah, even though I, I would get all his punchies. That's okay. Uh, that's a good choice. It's a good choice. Okay. So I gain her grapple. Hey, thanks, Ryan, for swinging by. Yeah, um, thank Do you. check the description for the details of the, uh, the giveaway. We'll mention it at the end of the video, but check the description for that. It's live right now. Yes. So she's got no damage to transfer, but she just goes away. Defeat a minion. Do I get the loot for it? I'm pretty positive you get the loot. Okay, well, here's this. Well, that's the kicker. I don't get the loot. It's going over here. That's correct. 
Which is the bad thing is he's gonna have so. It might be a good. I'm gonna use the pepper spray on that. You had to be within two of them, though. I, I I got some legs. Um. Would I get this? I'm pretty. Would I get all that? I don't think so. That's the <gasps> downside to it. No. So I think it's best to take the damage. I'm gonna take the damage. Because I can heal us, so I'm not too worried about that. I need to move again. Um. Oh, and you can take him off the board too. So you only have nope, another. Oh yeah, that guy, and then the other one too. The green. Um, perfect. There you go. <gasps> Aha! I have sweep the leg, which I think I'm going to do. I was engaged at the start of my turn, so I'm not going to do that. So. If unengaged, move three spaces and attack with two die. Ooh. That's this card. Look, that's my card. One, two, three. I'm attacking with two dice. This is a kick attack. Um, he only has one kick defense. Uh, that's, I was uh, planning for that. Oh, I can't touch. But this. my attacks deal plus two punch damage. Yep. That's going to be good. And that that's what happens. Okay. Crit. I, I do not understand how you miss Double the thing in your hand. <laughs> um, so I get two kick defense, um, but I do hit him, get these two out. Any, any successes? I. No, I did not. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's okay, though, but I got rid of his um, punches. That's punches. Good. That's good. Okay, I still have an action step. Yeah. So... Patience, Stephen. Um, <laughs> Sweep the legs. <laughs> exactly. Here's a karate kid. <laughs> uh, sweep, sweep the action, leg, Johnny. Action, action. Man, that, uh, I think you're talking about the fourth season. Is that, I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about the um, Cobra Kai show. I only saw like, like the first half of the first season. I need to finish it because that's a good, was a surprisingly good series from what I was watching. Um, yeah, I'm way behind on that show. All right, I'm going to just go while you're doing your thing. I'm thinking. Because I have things I can do. So I, Punch. while you're thinking, I'm going to move. So I'm just going to move one I know space. What I, I know what I'm going to do. Go oh, ahead. okay. No, go, go, ahead. Ahead. go ahead. All right, so knives out. Action, I can search my deck for a copy of my knives, put them into play. Then I attack for two for direct damage. So I'm going to do this action. Oh, wow. Did you other knife so out? So I want more knives. More knives! I don't have any and You tuck more. underneath the other one. Yeah, I know, but it's... Because it gives you plus one punch, right? Yes. So now you do plus three punch of damage straight up. Yes. And so now you do direct damage? Doing direct damage oh with goodness. two dice, plus two punch damage, plus, th no, three, plus punch, three damage. punch damage. Yep. So the nice thing is this is all going straight to the boss because the boss, if I look at his play area, has no punch defense. No punch He's defense. gonna drop the idol. <laughs> two hits. So two direct damage plus another three. three so it's five. five. Five direct damage on him. He so, drops this though, right? Um, no. So he's gonna take. Because if he takes one, two, three, four, five, um, so he's at fifty-four now. But how it works is. He has to discard a defense token. Well, I made him discard the punch tokens before. Yeah, he discards a defense token. He still has it. When he has no defense tokens, then when he needs to... So one of stuff is damaged, he discards a defense token. Doesn't matter how much damage he takes. But if he can't discard a defense token, then he drops the idol. Well, he couldn't discard a defense token. No, because he has some. He's got three. So I need to attack with kick and grapple? Yeah. Oh, so he so that grappled was a discard. Why'd you discard that? Because he can. Oh, okay. Yeah. So fine. anytime he takes a damage, you have to discard a defense token. Yeah. Okay. On in addition to that, regardless of whatever type of attack. Okay. Correct. I, I'm However, I have defense training. I'm gonna exhaust that. Um, right here, so we can both gain up to t defense tokens of enemies engaged with us. I'm gonna gain these two. And you are not engaged with anything, are you? I'm Holy. engaged with him. Uh-huh. Ta-da! Now you get to take his defense tokens. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> okay. 
Now, if you do damage, then he'll drop it. Can sure. I attack him anymore? No, I can't. Hold on. It's all... I mean, you can do next turn. Easy. <gasps> no, I can't! Flanking step! Exhaust this card. I can choose one engaged fighter. Moi. That fighter may draw a card or, card or deal one general damage to an enemy engaged with it. Oh, wow. Boom! One general damage. So he takes another damage. Um... And so this, he's down this, to oops. 53. Oops, you dropped it. You, yeah, he, he has no defense. That was so, really smart. So this goes out of the out of off the board. Return to supply. Yes. Correct. Out of the game. Well done, Kim. Knocked it out of his hands. Take that, Proxy. <laughs> Went on to flank them and punch the L out of his hands. Okay, hold on. Now, making sure I don't... Yeah, that's it. Are you sure? Because that's, <laughs> that's a lot. That's it. I'm good. <laughs> okay, so I... Yeah, so I just move one space. <laughs> I would like to do... I'm going to do Keeping the Advantage. I'm going to discard this defense token from her. So none of my guys have defense tokens on them. Oh. What? I have another thing. I want to do this too. Can't. Why? Oh. Okay. And then I'm going to do his super powerful attack. That's my action. Attack with two red dice targeting each enemy engaged with me. And I get plus two. I'm rolling five dice. Do it. So five dice. This is all punches. And I'm attacking both of them. Would you like to use the tray? No. I'm good. All right. So if I do five hits, I take them both out. So we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Got a crit. So it's five plus. plus six. So six. And I get a punch defense. That is awesome. Nice. So if I look at the board here, that's six damage. Um, she only has five health. He's got three, three health left. They're both gone. Oh my gosh, I have to take a lot of damage boom, boom. to get these loot. But look how much loot that is. I'm so looking forward to it. We're doing awesome Multi now. cocktail. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't care that that's going to hurt me five damage. I want all that. <laughs> I'm going to wait to play a card. I'm not going to play a card this turn. Okay. Because my cards let us heal, and right now we're at... I'd rather have you... Well, I have one damage. That's only I'll, one. Just I heal two, though, when I play the card, so I should wait. Just wait. I'll wait. I'm going to take five hits. Oh, my goodness. I want all that loot. Well, I can heal myself with wait and see. No. It's only, it's only one. Okay. I am going to hang on to it for now. Let's go ahead and go on to... Oh, yeah. Take those guys off the board, please. Oh, they're dead. Um... I'm not in a search space. I'm not using Hunter Idols, unfortunately. That's okay. All right. That's it. We do our reaction here phase. So the only thing we have is your clean sweeper. So he's going to move three towards the nearest one, which is probably going to be me. Um, when do I discard the mission card? Because I'm going to be attacking now from, from now on. Uh, you're doing a threat phase, which is start of the next turn. Okay. Okay. That's all that happens. We draw cards. I no longer powered up. And I drew into another defensive training, but this is a... Oh, I could play multiple of these. This does not have a unique on it. Cool, I'll play that. That is going to be excellent. I have another flanking step. Okay, so now we do... Yes, now we do bad guy's turns. Proxy, he's going to attack... Each figure within two spaces of him, which yes. is you. So he's an attack with four dice. So here he comes, the big old attack. I'll roll over here so people can see. Um, he's an attack with... Um, two grapples, a punch, and a kick. Yep. Here's a punch and a kick and two grapples. Blocked. You're powered up now? I, I think am you are. super powered. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> super Saiyan mode! Look at these muscles. <laughs> That's what I think he says right there. This picture. Yeah, for sure. That's totally a look at this muscle pose. <laughs> okay. All right. So he's super powered. He blocked all that. That's great. And this mm -hmm. is um, each fighter that was not attacked must move one of their defense tokens to him. So I'm going to choose to move a punch token to him because you have super punch mode. So you can easily pop plow through that. 
as okay. opposed to putting like a grapple where I wouldn't even bother with it. Yes, because I want you to get rid of his demons tokens. Okay. 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 Make sure he doesn't have any. Okay. I understand. All right. So now, now we activate his other card. So if you look over here on his spot here, it says activate this. Any fighter may suffer one or more direct damage to gain an equal number of move cards. So there is one, two, there's five there. Um, Can we split will, it? Any, any fighter may suffer one or more. I'll do it. Are you sure? I, well, I can heal you. Yeah. Um, Give me all five. And you want to take all five? I want all five. Because then that goes away. And we'll Any get fighter, yeah. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that's gone. Five damage. Uh, Worth oh, wait. it. We do have to shuffle topmost enemy cards into the deck. I forgot to do this. Yeah. Still worth it. So I have a turkey platter. During my turn, I can either give this card to a fighter adjacent to you um, or discard this card to heal three. Yep. Totally worth it. Shuriken, I can discard the card to heal do two direct damage to any figure. A Molotov Cocktail, discard the card to choose a space within three. Each figure in or adjacent to that gets three general damage. My sneakers, I can discard this card for um, a kick during my kick attack to add two dice. And tear gas deal direct damage to end everyone in three spaces. Just totally ready to go. I mean I still have my butterfly knife. Yeah, we got lots and of loot. pepper spray. <laughs> it's like Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now we do the stage um If there's no enemies, we have to roll three enemy dice and put power on it. Okay, so here we go. So roll three. Any different ones? There's two different ones, so we had two more power on that card. It's up to four. Which, what happens when it gets to five? Or... He automatically gets a, a uh, objective token. That's fine. Okay, here is the Running Wild event. Oni's Curse. This card deals each figure carrying an objective one general damage. I can block that, no problem. Excellent. Okay. All right, refresh. Yes. So Wait, now... was that when I can do swap this out? Uh, in a second. We do okay. Refresh everything first. Okay, and then we do the threat phase. Do I draw a card? No, you already drew your card. Did I? Yeah, you should have. Did I? How many cards do you have? Um, I didn't play card last turn, so you should have three. You have more. I'm pretty sure you drew a card. You have a lot of cards. You okay. Know. All right. So here's the threat phase. Unscheduled meeting event is mine. Each fighter activates the enemy in the threat area that is nearest a fighter, then activate the proxy. So I have nobody, which is nice. So only the you clean sweep. This guy. And is he next to me? He, I can't. he probably was because he, he was here. He would have been next to you. Okay. So he's going to activate next to me. I think he would have been right there. I may have just moved him closer to you, but that's fine. Okay, so what does he do? Um, attack with three dice. Attack with three dice. Okay, here it goes. Uh, lots of grapples, which I have plenty of, so... Each fighter attacked this way, then must also exhaust one card they control. I can exhaust this one. Okay, now the proxy is going to attack me. Correct. Oh, he's going to activate, so I have to give him another defense token. And then I have to shuffle the top card into the deck as well. Okay. And yes, he's going to attack you for four. Okay, go ahead and roll four. Okay. Here you go. Kicks. Um, one kick, one punch, two grapples. Blocked everything. I'm out of grapples now, though. Okay. This is still the threat phase. Okay, so that was my event. Yours is going to be a clean, green, green clean sweep. Okay. And can I now it's our threat turns. Now you swap my mission card. You can. Okay. Yes. Swapping my mission out because I'm not gonna not attack. No weapons. You toss the weapon aside, I think I'll refusing mine too. to sink to the enemy's level. You this can be handed traditionally head to head and fist to fist. During your turn, you may discard one loot to complete the mission. I think I have enough loot. <laughs> you can probably do that easily. So my, I just want to swap mine out, investigate. Oh, I have to be in a crate space, which I could do. It's not that great, though. All right, 
so now we do our turns. Okay. So at the start of my turn, gain a defense token of my choice for each gear. So I'm getting two defense tokens. I want some grapple. Yeah, I'm getting two as well. And I can move one space, which... You can move closer to that crate, get the crate and engage the bad guy again. I think I'm going to. I'm going to go here next to it. And then I'm going to play Turkey Platter to heal three. Okay. Where should I? So I only have two damage. Which loot do I want to discard? One, two, three. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm not going to heal you this turn, but I'll heal you, heal you next turn. So for my card step, I'm going to play uh, another defensive training. I start my turn gain one defense token of your choice. Make it exhaustive for have people gain more defense tokens, which is great. So that's going to go in my play area. Oops. I've got two of those, and I've got my exhausted keeping the advantage. I'm going to do so much damage. <clears throat> okay. Can you get rid of like this stuff? I can. I'm gonna get rid of the ones on the yellow guy for sure. I can't on the green guy unless you go engage him. Mm -hmm. Now nah, I'll just let him wander. Um, I want to exhaust. Oh, wait a second. I have four power. <laughs> I need to discard okay, my I card. Cheated. I should I, be it should be fully fully powered. Apologize. I should have discarded this knife when I used it at in the middle of last turn. Okay. So I don't actually have to grapple. Okay. Because I used this action. Not that one. Resolve an action on a copy of Rise piece that you control. So that this should have been discarded, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. I think I used it in air once. Because I took I used that to take out the green guy and then I just used it again on the big guy. Oh, so you should have two more two less health. He should health. have two less health. Yes. We can fix that right now. Okay, That's sorry. Fine. Should have discarded the card earlier. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Um, I'm going to make up for that. Um, so I need you to move because I need you to engage with something. Okay, just be patient. No, right now. Be patient. <laughs> Because <clears throat> I'm just waiting for you to engage something so you can. Because I can possibly take out the bad guy, the yellow clean sweep. I'm going to exhaust this to move two. One, two. Okay, not sure why. But okay. Just patience, because i got to get back to the enemy. Uh, I have survival rations. Uh -huh. I could heal myself. Okay. Um. Or you can just hang on to it, honestly. I can fully heal you, so. <clears throat> you don't have to heal me, heal yourself. No, it heals both of us. Oh, okay. I'm not going to play this turn because I'm waiting for you to engage someone. Because I got this defensive training to steal all those defense tokens. Well, could I, I could sweep the leg again. I think I'm going to sweep the leg. Okay. Okay, so if unengaged, move two spaces and attack with one die. Kind of stinks, the one die, but I'm going to do that. So move two. I'm actually going to go right there. Okay. And attacking with one die. However, it is a kick attack. You have a move. You can move next to him. Why? I'm going to get an, it's a free attack like that. Oh. That's my card step. Okay. If I want to do that. No. No. You're right. Hold on. Back it up. 
It's not my card. Back it up, I'm sorry. Going to play... Play your flanking card, your tactic. No, I'm going to play this one, because I'll attack him twice. I'm going to do my move. If you stand next to him, I can roll the defense tokens. I know. One, two, oh, here's my move. Move regular. So then if I play Razor Hook, which is a punch attack. So before we do that, okay. I'm going to do defensive training. So you can take two defense tokens from someone to engage with you. Okay. There. That's what I was waiting for. Thank you. Now you can do your stuff. Now, you, now you're like, I can do whatever. <laughs> All right. So then then my card instead is going to be Razor Hook. So attack with two dice, then play one card or draw a card. So then I can play an extra card. Yep. Okay. So two red dice. Two red dice. <clears throat> and it's punch. It is punch, and my attacks deal plus one punch damage. So you have one on my kit. Yes. Plus what you roll here is no defense. Two okay. punch defense. <laughs> but you did do one damage show. <laughs> Where are my crits at? <laughs> so. Okay. But I can play another card because of that that card. Yes. I have a question. Yes. So now sweep the leg. Okay. You can get your other tactic out too. I can. But. So if unengaged, not. So otherwise, attack with two dice and exhaust one minion engaged with you. That would not happen. Correct. Then if there are no ready enemies engaged with you, play one card or choose one fighter to draw a card. Is he a ready enemy? Yes. So the second stuff doesn't matter. I would just attack with two. Yep. It's not very good right now. Yeah. You can't sweep the leg against the boss. The sensei does, cannot be swept the leg. <laughs> Ooh, Ruthless Pounce is really good. But I was engaged when I started the turn, wasn't I? Mm-hmm. Okay. I will play my second flanking step. So this is awesome because it's upgraded. So you get a move one space and gain random defense token. And then choose an engage fire. That fire may draw a card and do one direct damage to an enemy engage with. That is awesome. You can do direct damage. All right. So you did I your thing. still have action. Yeah. Still have an action. You want me to do my action first? Well, I think. Okay. I'll do my action while you do your thinking. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my action. And I have my, I'm fully powered, so I'm going to roll... Ooh, I should kind of need to move in a different spot than where I moved. So. That's fine. I am going to attack with five dice. So here we go. There's four of them. Attacking the clean sweep. Oh, wait, no, hold on. I do my other defensive training. I'll take the other defense off them. Kim can't take any more defense. There we go. That's four hits. Oh. So you roll one more die. Five. Five hits. And the clean sweep has six. Close. Which one? But you can actually flanking step them for me. Exhaust. Choose an engaged fighter. That fighter may draw one card and deal one direct damage to an enemy engaged with it. I will exhaust my superb flanking step. So have I draw a card? You draw a card and do one damage, so he's dead. Nice. Okay. Attack the card. And then. And here's your loot. Energy drink. Gain power tokens, cool. Okay. And we both gain defense tokens. We're both gaining um, punch, I mean, grapple and kick. This is my superpower. So we got all the defense in the world right now. Okay. So that was my action step. I still have my movement. Can you take them off the board, please? I don't quite reach them. Okay, my action, I'm going to do my super punch, which okay. is this one. Um, so attack with three, and I'm also going to use my butterfly knife while I do that. Okay, and plus two to your dice to your attack. Yes, rolling five dice. Five dice against mm -hmm. boss man. Yes. And this is what type of attack? A punch. And you get plus one punch? Plus one punch. So one punch plus whatever I roll here. Yep. Crits! Two more. Nice. 
Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plus eight. one. Eight. And a punch defense. Eight. Sweet. That was excellent. Boom. So down to forty six. Well done. <laughs> okay. And then that was that. I'm going to then exhaust my other flanking step. Um, I can draw a card or deal a general damage. Go ahead and do it. Just damage him. You need to damage him again, down 45. Yeah. Okay. And. <clears throat> Okay, I have a movement I can do still. So I'm going to do my movement. And I can move three spaces. I'm just going to move on to this um, point. Then I'm going to exhaust my hunt for the idols to roll three dice. Can I have some dice, please? I was using them while I'm sorry. Oh, thank you. Let's try to put some power on that. So here we go. I got two hits, so two power. On to my idol. Trying to find another idol because it'd be awesome if you get you an idol, then you'll be doing excellent. All right, I'm not done. That's all I have. I'm gonna throw my shuriken in this guy's back. Two direct damage. Where should who? I? Who? Him. Boss man. Boss man. Um, sure. Or should that. I wait till he gets defense and then? Oh, it's direct damage. It's direct I? damage. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Or do you want me to hit the other guy? Whatever you want. Big guy. Always hit the big guy. Okay, so he's down to 43. Okay, is that it? Forty-three. We counted. We have a difference of I know, I you I didn't remind you the other time. It's fine. Okay. Now end of the turn. Okay, I'm just gonna let you keep track of it. I yeah. will trust you. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, my turn's over. Cool. So now we have to do the reactionary phase. I have nothing in front of me. You have got a clean sweep in front of you. So he's going to run up and engage you. No. He's just yes. going to get close to me. Yeah, he doesn't get attacked. Is that like, it? That's it. Okay. Let me draw our cards. I draw into a calculated kick. Attack with two dice. Then you may discard to three deep tokens to deal one direct damage to an enemy engage with you for each deep token discard. That's pretty cool. I like him. Super defensive. Um, bad guy turn. The proxy, he's going to attack everyone, he's going to attack you, for four. Okay. So here comes his attack. Not scared. Oh, wait. Three punches and a kick. I discarded five of the, because I forgot to flip my thing back to normal, but I'm still supercharged because I discarded five. Okay, more. that's fine. So wait, what did he attack with? <laughs> Three punches and a kick. Blocked it off. And then I need to give him a token, so I guess I'll give him a punch token. Sure. It's the easiest for it to get, get. And I have to shuffle this clean sweep back into the deck. All right. And then we need to do the rest of it. There's nothing on the board, so we have to roll, roll for power tokens on that. We have two different types, so two more power. So there's going to be... Let me see what that does real quick. Hold on. Isn't that enough? It's enough for sure. If there are five power tokens on the card, discard all power tokens. So you can yep. discard all of them. Yep. And he finds an objective. So he's just going to get one straight up. So you can give him one of those random objectives. <laughs> Which is good because now he has a defense token that you can easily knock off him. He found <laughs> the yellow one again. Okay. Okay, that is it. We can go ahead and do the start turn. So ready everything. And I'm going to get three deep tokens, token whatever for I want. Each thing. Grapple. Actually, and I can move a space. And gamer, I can move two spaces. So I'm going to move, gain this loot, another step <coughs> bomb. 
I'm going to move back <laughs> and gain a random defense token. Punch. Yeah, we're doing excellent. This is, uh, we're comfortable. <laughs> Very comfortable. Very comfortable. All right. I will admit that the pair, this parasol and me group is probably the easiest group, to be fair. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get a purple clean sweep. And then you are going to get a, hey, the yellow clean sweep came back. Okay, so that's our two cards. Oops, sorry, type token. All right, so first things first, I'm going to head exhaust my hunt for the idols and make sure I see the power that up on that spot. Excellent, got crit. Yes. So three more. So now I've got five power on my, my hunt. <clears throat> okay. I feel like you're doing a good job with the boss man. I, maybe you should just keep dealing with the enemies? Yes. Now pay very close attention. Or... No. I can move people around with a stink bomb. Can you move him closer? Oh, I can, sure. Yes. Will you should we throw my stink bomb? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'll discard that and move him three spaces. I want him to be one, two. <coughs> right there is fine. Okay. I think. Move him three. My cocktail's gonna just light him up. Okay. You're throwing right. now? Well. I will. I'm going to discard this stink bomb, though. Okay. Then I complete this mission. Or this, yeah. During my turn, you can discard a loot card to complete the mission. Okay. Boop. No token. My next mission. Make your move. During your turn, I can spend one of each type of defense token to complete the mission. You do that right now. That's very... Ooh. Okay. Mission complete. I'm just cruising. <laughs> Next one. Threaten. Um, at the end of your move step, while you are engaged with an enemy, someone has to discard an, an ability card. Mm, I do not want to discard an ability card. Um, you can't get rid of any of their <sighs> punch defenses, can you? I can. Oh, please do. Okay, I'm going to play... Ooh. We have to be engaged with them. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. But I'm going to play my Cautious Tactics while you're looking at other stuff. This one's going to let me choose a fire to move one space and gain one or one random defense tokens, or it's an action move one space and gain two random defense tokens. Um, that's my last of my tactic upgrades, but this one's not up, fully upgraded, so I won't find the other one eventually. All right, so that is in my play area, so I've got plenty of tactics out. But yes, if we if you move nearby, if I can get here, you can get where? No, actually, if he's here, if this guy would have moved here, and if I can get to where he is, I mean, you have a stink bomb. Oh no, you discarded it. I did. Because you could have. I I could have done it. Um, have. I'm gonna discard my tear gas. Why? The direct damage? One direct damage to each enemy within three. Okay. So that's everybody on the board. Wow, that's pretty good. Direct damage. Okay. So Everyone's taking damage. You get and damage, and you get and damage. And boss and, man. And the boss man. Okay. Boss man gets damage. Down to 42. Ah, <laughs> uh, we gotta get rid of their defense tokens. Stand next to them. I don't want to... Um, I am going to move. So while you're thinking about it, because I want to go one, two, three, stand right next here, next to that guy. Okay. Now I'll just wait for you to stand next to the guy. Okay. 
I'm going to exhaust this trial <coughs> card to move two. Okay. Or I should just move two, I don't Your prowl can be used out of turn too, because you can exhaust any time. Yeah. Literally any time. I'm gonna just do regular move to go okay. here. Okay. <laughs> um ready to discard stuff now? Sure. Okay, you can take um, two. Make sure this is right. Yes. You can gain two defense tokens from an enemy and then one defense token from an enemy, and you gain them. I get two and then one? Two and then one, yep. So all three of these? Yep, if you want to take oh, them from one enemy, I can split it up. That one. I'm going to engage with the boss. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Still. Okay, so I am going to do my action while you're thinking. So I'm going to spend my action. I'm going to do my basic attack. It is two dice normally, but I've got defense tokens and the idol, so I'm going to roll four dice. And it's going to be a punch attack. I'm going to punch the purple clean sweep, which I'm next to. So here we go. Uh, looks like I got four hits. So close. So close. He's got one hit left. I get a punch defense token for that. Thank you. If you want, you can help take him out with your flanking step. Okay. I'm going to do the regular one, unless you want to draw a card. You want to draw a card? My open thoughts are no. Okay. Draw a card and murder him. Excellent. Oh, that was a great card draw. I got my last, my last upgrade tactic. Got me some candy bars. Anytime you may discard this card, if you do, each party may heal one damage and gain one defense token of their choice. Do you, are you damaged? I have two damage. Okay, I don't want to use it yet, though. Okay. Yeah, I'm all... I'm all out. Okay. I am going to sweep the leg! Okay. <laughs> um, I am engaged, so attack with two and exhaust one minion engage with me. So I'm going to exhaust the green guy. Yep. I'm attacking the boss with two dice plus another two dice because I got some sweet sneakers on. Sweet! And I have a plus one punch damage. So you get four... Five, four, no, four, four kicks, four and, kicks and plus two punches. Wow. Plus one punch. Plus one punch. That's right. You don't have the other, other knife. Crit! Need more dice. Okay, so this is two kick defense. And yeah, one, two, three, four kicks and two punches, which is always... Why, why do you keep saying two? It's one punch. One punch, sorry. Sorry. So five damage. Five damage, correct. Wow. Doing some, doing some work. Boop, boop, boop. That was my card play. Thirty-seven. Nice job. <clears throat> um. Oh yeah, and then because he, um, because he couldn't discard. couldn't discard anything, he has to lose this. Drop it. Idol. Drop it, punk. <laughs> um. I'm gonna save the cocktail because I'll do three general damage to all these guys. Why not do it now? Well, because it's gonna he's just gonna get rid of this. So all right, I'll still I'll do it. Throw in a cocktail. I mean, cocktail is a pretty good time for that. Next... So one, two, three to him. Uh -huh. Just blocks it all. Yep. One block here, but two hits. Uh huh. And boss then... man's taking three more damage. Boss is taking three more damage. I still have my action. <clears throat> I'm going to use my... Get your knife back? No, my tooth and nail. Attack with three dice. I deal plus one direct damage for each gear card. Why don't you use your knife back? Because that would be even stronger. Where? How? Search well, the knives out. Remember? Action, search your deck for a copy of the rise piece, then attack with just two for direct damage. I can attack with three. Is it only the deck? Or just a pile? Oh, Search yeah. your deck. One of them says discard pile. Um, oh, it's when you flipped, I think. If you're doing your basic action. Yeah. You can no, I'm going to attack with three dice, uh, plus <clears throat> a direct damage, plus a punch damage. So two damage, straight up, plus three dice. Okay. Okay. 
So five damage and two punch defense. Boom. So five more damage on him? Yep. Wow. And then this flips. But I have supercharged already, so it's staying supercharged. Below half health. Yeah. That was my action. It's kind of better if you weren't supercharged, on honestly. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Um, am I on a search thingy? No. I'm going to... I'm tempted to move away, because then this ruthless pounce would be amazing. Can you have me move? No. Okay. I don't want to be engaged with anybody. I can move you. Can we move you right now? I just need to back up to here. Yeah. I have a cautious tactics, exhaust, choose a fighter, move one space, and gain one random defense tokens. There you go. Okay. I'm just gonna go. Is that a spot? That's a spot. Yes, it's a spot. Sorry. Not random. showing the scoreboard. There you go. Comes backed up. Punch. I have so many punches. <laughs> I know. So do I. <laughs> So now, because this guy is exhausted, he's not going to move, right? Yep, now we act, now you're done, right? So now we activate all the bad guys. And he will move, but he's not going to reach me. Correct. Okay. Which you can do right now. Okay, so he will just flip. So yeah, that guy just ready. He's just ready up. Pure. Yellow guy he's going to go by you, actually. That is perfectly fine. Okay, done with that. Okay. Draw cards. Ah, I forgot my other flanking thing. Oh, well. Use it right now. Oh, exhaust. Yeah, it's exhaust. I'm going to use it to draw a card, so I'm going to draw two cards. Okay. There's my calculate kick I just drew into. Three attack uh, kick. Then we discard to three defense tokens. Deal one direct damage to each enemy engaged with you. For each defense token discarded. That's a major attack. We might be able to go after the boss. What have I been doing? Well, me too. Okay. All right. So that is it. We now move on to the boss turn. So he is going to want to attack everyone within two spaces, which is actually both of us. Mm -hmm. So he's going to attack both of us for an attack. Here it goes. Looks like it's going to be three grapple and a punch, which I can turn into fully mm -hmm. powered mode. I get one damage from that. What? You took damage. I took a hit. Okay. And you are this one. Okay. Down to 15. I can heal you. I am fully powered. And that's it for him. Now we do the final key. There's nothing out there right now. So let's roll some dice and see how many power we put on it. Oops. Let me do this real quick. There we go. Um, what of everything? So we get three, three power. power on it. Okay. And then let's draw the card. We get Blessings from Beyond. For each objective the fire carries, then you either heal one or deal one direct damage to any enemy in play. Um, direct damage, I feel like. Yeah. Should you just go for the boss? I think you just go for the boss, right? Or do I do it to the yellow clean sweep? To this guy. Okay. Yellow clean, clean sweep. The boss isn't carrying anything, so we don't take any damage in return. So that's oh. excellent. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to refresh turn and then start turn, and then we go into our threat phase. Again, if you have an ability card that you can just pitch, I would appreciate it. Yeah, I don't really want to. That's fine. You don't have to. I mean, I am just one away from the uh, full mission. Oh, wait, I want to gain a random defense token. All right, yeah, we're we're doing pretty good. Okay, my star turns on. You done with your star turn? Let's go on to cards. I'm going to get a purple executive. Oh, I didn't do my star turn. I get a ran a defense token. I need grapple. Okay. And I get a random defense, and I could also move, which <laughs> I'm not going to. Okay. And you are going to get a event reorganization plan. The fighter that has suffered the most damage shuffles the enemy discard pile into the enemy deck. The proxy attacks each other fighter. So 
He's gonna shuffle the deck. He's gonna attack you. And he's gonna attack me. He's gonna attack me for four, um, which is okay because I got enough defense tokens. I think I'll be fine. You're fine. I feel pretty good about this whole game, honestly, Steve. Your defense gifting has been it's been huge helpful. So I have enough to block it all. Yep. There you go. Okay, more power sitting to the side. Okay. Okay. So that was that's it. So now it's our turn. I. That was with no more bad guys. That was both bad guy cards. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, pay very close attention, Steve. Do you need to move? Because I can move you. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. I am going to faint. Each fighter may move one space and gain two random defense tokens. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to play this in its place, the upgrade version of it, which lets me exhaust, choose my fire to move two spaces, and gain two random defense tokens. I got kicks. So I'm going to move here. And then I'm going to gain one defense token this way. You said two. I rolled I gained two. one. Oh. No, you only gained one. Oh. Whoops. One kick. Okay. Okay, so. So I haven't done any. I did my card stuff. Now, remember, I was unengaged at the start of our turn. Yeah. That's important to remember during my turn. Okay. So first I'm going to do Razor Hook. Uh, it's a punch attack. Attack with three dice, then play a card and draw a card. Wow. So I get to play two cards with that card. So I'm attacking with three dice. And you have plus, plus one? Plus a punch. Do you want to use your action to get another no. gear? No, because I had to flip this thing over again. Oh, okay. So, one punch plus crit. I'm trying to put her rolls crit. on screen, but she's all over the place. <laughs> so, four damage okay. and a punch. Uh, uh, there you go. Stop it. I'm, you, you keep moving off screen. <laughs> all right, so that's four damage to the boss. Four damage to the boss, okay. Um, and I get to draw a card and play a card. Um, I'm going to play Ruthless Pounce. Okay. Move three spaces and attack with two dice, gaining plus one if you were not engaged at the start of your turn. Which, which I was not. Then if you control at least one gear card attack. Wow, you can attack a ton. Yes, that is what I'm doing this turn. I'm attacking the boss a ton. Okay. So, uh, three dice, so I get plus one punch. Yep. One plus, that's four hits and another punch defense. So another four damage? Yep. Then, if I control at least one gear card, which I do, I'm going to attack with two dice. Plus one punch. Plus a punch. Should I take, I should take this guy out real quick. No, it's fine. Go for the boss. You we might be able to do it this turn. Really? Maybe. I want to, I'm going to take him out. I'm going to punch the green guy. Okay. Crit! So that's four damage. He's Take dead. Yeah. That I get a what is that? That's a grapple. Yep. Loot. A flare gun. At any time, I can discard this card to discard two defense tokens of your choice from each enemy. <laughs> Just... Handy. <laughs> Okay. Not gonna matter, but okay. Going, going to town. That was <clears throat> just my card steps. I'm gonna use my defensive turn to take all these defense tokens. <laughs> Thank oh, you. He's dead. Okay, so I can't play any more cards, but that is okay. Um, I would like to do my action step. Okay. I'm gonna do my super power move. Attack with three red dice, target each enemy engaged with me. So the boss is also engaged with me. Yes. So I get five dice attacking all of them. How come? Which? Oh wait, you never put it on the board. 
Was she supposed to be on the board? When did yeah, she? Yeah, she was on the board last. Last start, turn. Start of turn. Yeah. Start of the turn. Oh, I screwed up because I thought that was a different character. She's here. What does that do to you now? Um, it's okay because I could have moved. Shouldn't she have attacked you though? No. I I won't move. Move me back. I'm not attacking the boss this time. Where are you? This guy? Yep. Back me up. Where? Right here? Nope. Right here. Alright. I'm going to attack both of them. So five dice. Here we go. So she she just got put on the board is what you're saying? At the start of the turn. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright. Here we go. Uh, crit. Crit. So... Another die. Thank you. Another crit. Crit. And... There you go. So that Four. was. Oh, I should be rolling five dice. I should roll another die too, technically. Because I rolled, rolled four at the beginning. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, should, I need another die because I rolled five dice. <clears throat> what is it? Yeah, that's fine. So one, two, three, four punch damage to both of those guys next to me. And I get one, two, three, I get four more punch defense tokens. Okay, so you murdered the clean <clears throat> sweep. She's at four. I get loot. You have a flare gun also. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this candy bars, I think. Um, to any time discard it, if you do, each fighter can heal one damage and gain one defense tokens of their choice. Okay, heal one. Because we need more defense tokens, apparently. And I'm at full health, and so should you be. Oh, no, you're not no, at full health yet. I'm at 16. Okay. There you go. Yeah, we're still going, Ryan, but <laughs> I'm not worried at all. I have been murdering the Do proxy. you want to flank for me so we take out the executive? Okay. Um, I choose an engaged fighter. That fighter may draw a card or deal one damage. You deal one damage to do it. Okay. Boom. Go. He's gone. Dead. Murdered. And your loot, you have a $50 gift receipt <laughs> to target. Um, you can discard this card to place a crate token on an empty crate space and choose a fighter to draw a loot card. I will discard it right away. I'll put the crate right next to you. And um, I'll take the loot card this time. Oh, another one! Another gift receipt. Just no, toss it wait, in. wait until we... Oh, that's true. That's true, yeah. that's true. Save it, Steve. All Strategy. Right. All right, um, I have not done my move nor my action. I've not done my move. I've done my card step. I'm going to play. I'm going to move two spaces. So I'm going to move here onto that spot uh, with my exhaust ability. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hunt for the idol. So I'm going to get rid of three of my power. So we have two left. Oh, wait, no. Mm, never mind. I'm not going to do that right now. Okay. I'm going to search. So here we go. Searching. Excellent. Okay. Good. Two more power. Two. So now I'm at six power on my idol. So I can... Seven. Seven. Sorry. Seven. So I wanted at least six. So that way I can quickly get it. Find it and pick it up potentially. Okay. So... All right, my action. Nope, I'm going to do move first. Okay. Nope, no, I'm not. Action first. I'm going to use my uh, tooth and nail attack, so that's three dice. Yep. Um, so plus I get one direct damage and one punch de damage, so it's two damage plus whatever I roll. <laughs> Trying. All right, trying. so four, <laughs> four damage and a punch. No crits on that so one. So four damage? Four damage. And then this... Oh, it's getting low. This is flipped. That was my action. I still have a move. You have four mission tokens, by the way. I'm aware, um, but I was hoping to get five so that each fighter can perform an action during my turn, but I could just perform another action on my turn. 
Yeah, because you could itinerary, which doesn't really help, actually. Never mind. Don't bother. Yeah. Hold on. Um, my move step. Get the root. Hold on a second. Peace. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a long one though. All right. We're we're, we're doing good though. One. Oh, 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 you're fine. I'm just catching up. My move. One, two. Where should I go? Should I go anywhere special? I'll just, just stay nearby. I'll just stay there. Loot. Found Ball another stuff. cocktail. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna save it because bad guys are gonna show up. Get your seat time. Let's put another crate down. <laughs> <laughs> Energy drink, which I'll just hang on to. Um, I have my move step, so I'll go jump on it and then stand next to the boss. <laughs> Those gift receipts are awesome. Oh, you got brass knuckles. Sweet. Plus two punch attack, which would be excellent because I'll take everyone nearby. Now, I could discard my four mission tokens to do another action. How much life does he have? 17? Yeah. He's dead next turn. By the way, just pointing out, yeah. look at that tower of punch tokens you have. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm going to use... I I think I'm going to use these. What's your other one? Your threaten? Discard an ability card? Yeah. I could get rid of one because I don't think we need it, honestly. Okay, because <laughs> then we both could attack as an action. Really? Right yes. now? Yes, yes. Because it says, if I discard these, each fighter may perform an action during your turn. So, like, right now, you could do another action. Kind of, but the problem is I don't have an action that's worthwhile. Because I did my... Oh, I should get rid of my power tokens. I can, You can only do an action once of a given name. So I already did my superpower move. I can't do it so again. So you're flipped over here. No, because I had power. Oh. I'll flip back. So, but I did my tooth and nail... But now it's called bare teeth. Correct. You can do so that. So I one. could do this one. You can do that one. That's correct. Um, I could also get another copy of Rise. <laughs> I have to leave a faith off of. Yes. <laughs> um, I could get another Rise piece in play and attack. If you have a disco power. You elite one. It. That's not. That's your main attack, right? Yeah, I'll do bare teeth. So you want yeah. me to do this one and not let you attack? That's fine. Okay. Fine. So I'm going to spend my four mission tokens that I have mm -hmm. cured. Mm -hmm. Cued. Um, so then attack for two. Mm -hmm. Move two spaces. Then, if I'm unengaged after moving, I can play my rise piece. Card. Oh, so you do want to you want to fight him and then run away? That's yeah. What you want to do? Which is okay. Or. Instead of that one, I play Knives Out, so I search my deck, I put it in play, and then I attack with two. Okay. I'm going to do that one. So I'm going to do this uh, Knives Out card. Yep. And then I'm going to get... I don't have any... It's in your hand? Card. It is in my hand. <laughs> okay. Search my deck. So yeah, no, not that one. Then yeah. I do have to do this one. You. I do have to do... <clears throat> The bare teeth one over here. So attack with two, then I'll get the discarded one back in place. So this is two punches plus one punch damage. So one plus two. So three hits. And now I can put a... Um, I need to run away. Go right there. Or should I go here? Nope. Just there? Yep. Because you kind of so you kind of want him to attack you, honestly, because one, you got a ton of defense tokens, and two, uh, we, we won't be giving him defense tokens. And we won't be shuffling the enemy discard either. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Doing pretty good. Doing amazing. Okay. Uh, there's nothing in our threat areas to do anything with, so we just draw our cards. Oh, counter assault. Look at this card. Gain one defense token of your choice from each enemy engaged with you. Attack with two red dice, gaining plus two if you have more defense tokens than your target. I have major attacks coming. Okay. Okay. Enemies. Then we do proxy. He goes. He must attack everyone within two, which is both of us. So he's attacked both of us for four. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. We have two punches and two kicks. Blocked everything. Yep. 
The funny thing is, because he attacks with four dice and I have four to fully charge myself, basically every time he attacks me, I'm going to be fully charged. I, is, I don't think there's a, really a way for me to get out of fully charged at all. Yeah, well, I am fully charged now, too. All right, so now we do the the stage, which there's no, no inactive things in play. So roll three dice and see what happens. We have two different types. I have two more, which is enough for it to trigger. Uh, he's see. getting a... Random one? Yep. And then we can do the event. No trail unturned. Each fighter may place one power on a copy of Hunt for Idols in their fight to play area. Each fighter that does must also put one power on the key. Um, I don't think it's worth it. Let's not worry about that. Okay, well, he found the red idol. Okay, that's fine. Does we he can... have to be... No, he just gets nope, it. Nope, he just gets it. Okay. Okay. Now we do the start of turn. So, ready everything up. Uh... When do enemies spawn? Now? In a second, yes. Come on, Steve. He's only got 14. <laughs> okay. No, just so we were talking about like seconds. OP for these two guys because it's after the designers. As a team, and I think it's also the scenario. The, this guy, I think there are harder guys out there. The enemy in particular is pretty easy. Okay. To be honest. Maybe I think that's, that's, think that's maybe what you're that's saying. It. I'm just so used to this game being more challenging and like kicking me on my butt. So. Yep. This is one we've never played before. And I what I do for each of these plays, I honestly, I've got a bunch of randomizer cards. So I just draw a few of them. And then I try to pick ones we haven't shown on the channel. And mm -hmm. so this was the one that came up. Okay. But yeah, I, this was a great one for um, new people playing it because it's actually, it's pretty easy to ramp up. But we're at the stage now where, yeah, we yeah. got them. But we normally don't play with missions. True. Missions, I, I don't, I think it's about a wash. It's kind of a little bit harder, a little bit easier. So it doesn't really make a I difference. I think it just helps us. It's helpful. It's helpful. Like, what's the detriment to having the mission as an option? Like, I don't have no. to complete it. No, it's just there. You, 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 can, you can have the missions in the game never use them, so. Okay. Just so it's only helping us. It, it's just something else to do, yeah. It could it could help you. Um, Spawn enemies. Spawn enemies, yes. There we go. First one. Hostile takeover. We know this one. You get a loot card, it's attached to that card instead. Yeah, get more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then you get Blue's executive spots next to you let me buy you where's she gonna spawn at on the board right here okay we have no way of moving her in towards us do we That's... i have a stink bomb oh you do no i don't i got rid of it okay sorry it should be dead soon um uh, i'm also use pepper spray right now get rid of it let's get rid of his hostile takeover done okay, okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, so much loot. Might as well use it. Easy. Yeah. Um. Okay. I while we can take out that executive, unless you can move her, I'm not gonna worry about her. I think we just go for the boss. Mm -hmm. So wait, start of turn. I didn't do that. I could um gain a random. A uh, defense token of my choice for each gear that I have. So I'm going to get two kick defense. Oh. And. I, think I got it. <laughs> random token. We got There's it. There's a punch. Um, and I could move two spaces. I could. Yeah, I can move two spaces. Do I want to move? I think you can one shot them. I am going to move here. So this was all my start of turn stuff that I did. Okay. You want to do it? I, I think I can take them out right now. That's all. Wait, let me throw just throw the cocktail item. Okay. Um, <coughs> choose space within three spaces of you. Each figure in or adjacent to that gets three general damage. So you throw it behind him, and it won't hit us. Yeah. So I'm gonna bomb it right here. Mm -hmm. Boo! And then now he's on fire. So he takes three more damage. Three dan general damage. Um. Okay. You, you want to take him out, even though I have done most of the work? You can do it if you Is want. Is that what I'm hearing? I'm just saying I've got a card that can one-shot him. How? So now I'm just curious. How are you going to do 11 damage? Mm -hmm. So, calculate a kick. Mm -hmm. Attack with three dice, which is five dice for me. But then it says, then you may discard up to three defense. Oh, it's up to three defense. Just kidding. I can't. I read. I didn't read the up to you three. You could get crits. 
You've been impressing me with your crit rolls this I week. can't one-shot with that card. I thought, I, can, I thought there was no you, limit to that. But you've been impressing me with all your crits tonight. Potentially. But no, I can't one-shot him. I can hit him hard with this attack. Hit him hard. Do it now. And then we, Yeah, we'll be able to take him out together for sure. Hit him up. All right, so I'll play that card as my card step. And... Yeah, that's it. So I am going to roll three... Five dice. Five dice... Let's see what happens. Crit. There's one crit. Come on. Keep it, keep it going. Okay. One more. That's... So one, two, three, four. Five. One, five. Got five damage to him. Mm -hmm. And then what I can do is I can discard defense tokens, which I have plenty of. You can discard up to three. Yeah. One, two. So five plus three is three. eight. Yep. Eight. Eight damage. So eight damage to start. So now he's got three left. You got it. Cool. I calculate kick. Okay. You, and you then I'm, I'm going to finish him off. I'm just doing my regular tooth and nail attack. Okay. So it's going to be plus one direct damage plus... <laughs> you get plus, plus three, three punch damage, damage here. Yeah. So that's four have to roll. I'm rolling. <laughs> I'm rolling. He's already got four damage on him, but I'm rolling anyway. Why is it four? Doesn't he have only three? No, because this does one direct damage for oh. each gear card I control. So, so actually two. this is two. And then this also does two punch damage, and this does one punch damage. So that's five damage. Five damage before you roll. Before I roll. <laughs> and then I get three decks. So he has seven uh, damage. Seven, seven damage. Boom, 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 boom. Murdered, and I would get two more punch defense tokens. So seven damage you did? Uh, seven, I think. It's at negative four. I probably made negative four. Yeah, yeah. Wait, okay. wait a minute. All right. I wasn't looking at it. You weren't looking. He's there you go. He's down. on the board. Boop, boop. There we go. Victory. Victory. So, yeah. Um, I agree with you. I think Parasol is very is definitely on the very easy side. Oh, he would have dropped that thing, too, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. Get out of here. But an excellent enemy group to fight against. It's better than the... Because um, the original enemy group that he started with in the core set, it was Brotherhood. But the problem with that one, he's got an RPG, and it's pretty brutal to deal with, and a lot of direct damage. I think this one's better for beginners than the other one, in my opinion. So, I can see that. I yes. Can see that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we rocked totally, them. Totally nailed <laughs> rocked it. Them. Okay, so that's gonna end the play for today. So thanks guys for joining. But as let's talk about the giveaway. As promised. As promised, exactly. So here's here's what we're doing. So you get your own set of painted tokens that were three D printed. And then your own 3D printed crates that were painted as well. So, and I know, even though I think you only need five in the game, you get to have six. You see, we made an extra crate just I because. I printed an extra one. <laughs> so there we go. So six crates and those objective tokens. And they're just a straight giveaway. So what you need... Hey, thanks. Thanks for the thanks, uh, GG. There we go. So what you need to get this, it's real simple. There is a link in the description below. All you need to do is click on that link, and all we need is your email address so we can contact you if you want, and then a name. That's it. So you enter your name. The name will be entered into a spinning wheel, and next week we'll play Street Masters again, and we will spin that wheel to see who wins. Yes. It's that simple. And only one entry per person, please, and we will be doing international as well. So if you're international, no worries. We will try to ship this to you. No, we will ship this Wherever. We will ship it. Wherever you Wherever are, it, is. it will ship. <laughs> yep, so you'll get it. Yes. But, yeah, but it's important, though, to watch next week to see if you win also. Correct, because it'll be part of the playthrough, so I'll, yes. I'll put a graphic Although up that's not to say that you'd have to be live during it. Yes, you so. do not have to be live. You just need to catch the video at some point. Yeah, because then you'll be notified. <laughs> or if you're on our Discord, I'll probably post it there as well. Yeah. So, yeah. who won? But yes, feel free to sign up, go out there and fill it out. And... Good luck to everyone. Hope you guys yeah, get it. It should be fun. It'll be the first giveaway of 2022. That's right. I don't we'll know if more. I gotta do more. I still have to paint the um, <laughs> Archangel, Death Angel guy from our other playthrough. Campaign. Yeah. And then what to do for the Assassin's Creed campaign, because that's a long one. That should have a giveaway at the end of it. We'll for people that who one have, too. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Stayed. Yeah, Ryan, don't worry. We're we like doing giveaways, so we'll yes. think of other games. If you're not, you don't have Street Masters or know anyone has it, so yes. Um, but yeah, we'll be doing another one for sure as we keep going. 
Oh, no. And you guys have ideas for giveaways. Let us know. <laughs> oh, I want this. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's, that's how I interpreted <laughs> that. Um, but yeah, no, I am gonna definitely have to think of a Assassin's Creed giveaway because that is a that's a long campaign. We're almost um, close to halfway through. Yeah, and actually, my brother, um, he he's not a graphic designer or anything, but he makes like fun cartoon or fun artsy stuff, and so I did ask him to draw a T-shirt concept. And maybe that could be Ooh, okay, like a okay. fun, fun shirt. I don't know if he's he's a little busy, so <laughs> he just does it for, for shits and giggles. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll think about it. Might be it. So. Yeah, and see so the the rest of this week we have Friday is Marvel Champions. What? Sorry, I'm Ryan's comment. Oh. Exactly. Give us just ideas. Share your thoughts. What did I get from a Christmas list? Yeah. yeah. Put them down in the comments below, and we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what makes sense. For sure, for sure. Sorry, Sorry, but yeah, so Marvel Champions, you were saying? Marvel Champions Friday, and we have our uh, chat uh, Saturday morning. Starting that back up this this year, and the chat this week is going to be Baron and I talking about upcoming games. Because I feel like in our end of the year episode last Everyone year... Everyone was like, 2021 sucked. All these games that are coming in 22 are going to be amazing. <laughs> so that's what you're going to talk about. Yeah. The amazing stuff to come. And I'm pretty sure we're not going to get through them all... Saturday. So this might be like a few Saturdays in a row we'll talk about upcoming games that we're excited about. So it'd be, it'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> too much Street Master. No such thing as too much. Unless you have multiple copies of the same thing, I guess. But <laughs> no, this game is awesome. I, uh, yeah, currently own everything for it. And I did order the upcoming stuff too because I absolutely love this one. Even, even when it's easy like this, I still have a lot of fun. Right? Yeah, you know, every once in a while it is just nice to destroy a game you know I'm not, it's, it's a nice feeling i'm not gonna lie you know because there are games when it's just like you just keep getting beat down and you're so frustrated and then you just stay up way too late playing because you can't you can't lose that's but right yeah anyway. that's right. excellent well thanks guys for hanging out with us hope you guys enter that get, get giveaway and we'll see you guys saturday or friday or next week thanks smooth very smooth transition so, hey, Roberto. Thanks for joining. Yeah. Thank you, Roberto. Dan. <laughs> it's it's pre squats in three boxes of ten. Yeah, you're going to have a lot to go through, Dan, when you get that thing arrives. There's a lot of content. <laughs> Everyone, have a great night, and we'll see you at the next stop. Bye. Bye-bye.